Sell Your Car UK is back and delighted to help offer for sale this gorgeous little Smart 4.2 convertible. It's a passion, 84 brake horsepower, but if it is a convertible you're after, this may not be the one for you. As sadly, and rather inexplicably, the convertible roof has actually stopped working. It's been fully investigated by Mercedes and it does need a little bit of money being spent on it. I say a little bit, to say the least, to get it back into working order. So it's being sold as a broken roof convertible, which is a heck of a shame, but it's going to make somebody very happy picking up an absolute bargain of a car. And as you see as we're walking around it, there's no big dents or scratches or scrapes. I will show you there are some marks on the car, so let's get up close and personal with it. Now we're going to start down here in this corner. Uh, you can see me. Hello. Uh, I just want to show you these little marks down here where it's obviously been scraped uh, as it's either getting in or out of a parking space or perhaps somebody else has done it. Uh, as we come around this side of the car, just to show you the wheels are in really, really good condition. There's no major curbing marks at all there. Uh, it's got good discs, it's got good pads as well. The front two tyres are a little bit worn, they're close to their legal limit and probably could do with a replacement. Uh, if we come along the door here, there's a little tiny bit of a scratch going on there. Very small, I'm being very picky. And as we come around the back here, on the wheel arch here again, small bit of scraping going on as well. And just to show you here, the wheel again in very good condition. It's just been serviced. Uh, it was serviced at the end of December 2013, about 40 miles ago. So it comes with no service required for 10,000 miles. I'll show you the bill for that as well. I'm just showing you here, there's a little bit of marks on the rear bumper where it's obviously been bumped quite literally. Uh, and as we come around this side here as well, little scrape marks there. Uh, and again, tiny little marks on the car. They really show up on black paint. Uh, the probably biggest mark on the car is this slight little dimple dent just here where someone's obviously opened their car door into it. And in fact, there's lots of little tiny marks just here where people have obviously quite a few times open their car door into it. What's wrong with people? Uh, but those are really the most major of the marks. And again, just to show you down here, this wheel as well is in good condition. And as a finish off, we're showing you the marks. You've got another little scrape just here and the bumper, the skirt rather, has just been broken a tiny bit down there. Nothing serious, doesn't need a major fix. Uh, and if I just show you as well, it's also meant that this fog light is just a tiny bit out of alignment. Nothing major, but it's well worth showing you. Uh, let's take a look inside the car. If I come around here, uh, it's only coming with one key. I shall show you that now as I fumble around in my pocket. There we are. It's got this key, which as you can see, has the buttons for remote central locking and also a little button there, which would open and close the roof were it working. Uh, you've got the part leather uh, interior, so it's got leather on the bottom of the seats uh, and on the sides and on the headrest, but this centre bit here is cloth. They're in really good condition. The car has done 47,544 miles at time of filming. As I said, it was last serviced at 47,501. It's got an MOT until November of 2014, as I get in the car. I'm just gonna shut the door there. Uh, and it's also got tax until the end of October. Now your key goes in that little slot just down there. I just wanna show you it's all working fine. It's actually just had a brand new battery on it. I'll just turn the radio off. Uh, just to show you there, 47,544 miles. And I can show you as well, it should show you. Come on, come on, I know you'll do it. Just pressing this little button over here because I wanted to show you that service light will come on showing you it's 10,000 miles to its next service. I think this is how you do it, you press this button. No, it doesn't want to do it right now. There we go, just as I said it. 10,000 miles to its next service. So it really has just been done. And I'll just show you here, you've got the heated seat buttons just here, all working absolutely fine. Get your bottom nice and toasty in the winter. Uh, and you've got the same for the passenger side. There's your fog light button central locking and then up here you've got the controls for your fans as well as air conditioning a heated rear screen and circulate the air you've got the little dials here one's a clock one's a rev counter and just down here if i go back to the gear lever you can see it's an automatic uh, with the switch tronic so you can go up and down that's not showing up brilliantly here but you can check out some pictures of this on our facebook page facebook.com forward slash sell your car uk dot tv 
Those are the buttons that control the roof, but there's no point pressing them. The fuse has been taken out by Mercedes, and I will show you that in due course. But I just want to show you, the car runs absolutely fine, no problems with it at all. And as I say, it's just had a new battery fitted. You've got paddle shifts as well, so you can change up and down the gears without taking your hands off the steering wheel. Uh, and that really is the interior of this car. It's got some lovely cloth going on on the interior here, as it is the Passion. And you've got electric windows for the passenger and for the driver, and the driver can also open and close the passenger side. Those are auto windows, so you just need to press it once and it will do its job. And you've also got electric mirrors right there. Uh, right, that is the interior of the car. We don't drive them here on Sell Your Car UK, but if you do want to go for a test drive, all you need to do is come down and see the car, but you now know exactly what it is that you're coming down to see. I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna go around to the boot, because I just wanna show you in the boot, We've got all of the docks. Uh, also, just to show you in the boot here, you've got the warning triangle. There's a yellow jacket as well. And that slot there, these little slots, are where the uh, bars go from the roof when you want to take it all off and make it into a complete convertible. But that does require the roof working, which as I said, it does not. And I just want to show you, uh, and I'll pull it out here so you can see it for yourself. This is from Mercedes-Benz. This was done literally days ago. Uh, the 10th of February 2014 and they as it says there investigated roof not opening past the first stage uh, and 60 pounds was spent on a diagnosis of that and it accompanies that with this full estimate here from Mercedes-Benz uh, and that includes all the parts that are required to get this working uh, and the total amount of those parts as it says there is about 800 pounds, 793 pounds 60. That's just for the parts. Obviously Mercedes will charge you 120 pounds an hour to fix this. And it's probably gonna take them, they estimate about six and a half hours worth of time. So their full quote, there you go, nothing hidden, is almost 1800 pounds. Now it's not gonna cost you that much if you go to a smart specialist uh, or indeed a roof specialist, but the parts would need to be Mercedes parts. So you're looking at 800 pounds being spent. Uh, we've got the last service bill here and that shows about 300 pounds spent on it and that includes oil filter air filter spark plugs screen wash engine flush fuel treatment so it's had a full service that was done at 47,501 miles and that was done on the 23rd of december 2013. if it's not showing up brilliantly on this video do check out the pictures on facebook we've got an mot certificate here this is the most recent one that was done in november of 2013 and it just shows here as well as the advisory, as I said, those near side front tire worn close to the legal limit. It also says the rear exhaust has a minor leak of exhaust gases. We've had that checked, nothing to be done there. And the under trays fitted is obscuring some underside components. Nothing to worry about there. It's just obviously they're not able to do major checks on that MOT if that under tray is fitted. We've also got the previous MOT to that with no advisory items. Uh, that was done at 46,917 miles. Um, but uh, at the moment, the mileage is, as I said, 47 and a half. And if I look here, we can see on this recent MOT that was done at 47,374 in November. So it really hasn't been driven very much. I'll explain why. This is the V5. Oh, it's really not showing up very well, that. Uh, this is the V5. It shows one former keeper. That one former keeper is actually the daughter-in-law of the current registered keeper. They now live out in Spain. The car had been used over in Spain for, for a lot of time. Uh, they'd bought the car brand new, moved over to Spain, took the car with them, uh, and now it's back in the UK, so it's been registered to the father-in-law who is selling it. So really and truly, it's one owner from new, but uh, and you can see that that was 20th of uh, October 2012 it came back into the UK but it's been surplus to requirements it's just been sat outside the owner's house hasn't been used uh, and so it's being sold with two owners but really it's just one uh, while I'm around the back here as well a couple more tiny little marks just around the smart badge on the boot as well uh, so those are all the docks there are more docks as well. They're not actually in my possession at the moment. They are with the current registered keeper, but we will get that. That includes all the books, uh, the handbooks, the service book, and any previous servicing as well. But we're not gonna go through that in this video because as I say, I don't have it with me and I don't wanna tell you something that I have to change later. Uh, there's the tax disc, 31st of October, 2014. So it's taxed, it's MOT, it's serviced, but it does have that broken roof and some marks on it, which is why it's going cheap and there's only one place to get it. 
Sell Your Car UK.